All right, I'm gonna teach you how to use the quadratic formula, okay? I'm gonna solve this equation using the quadratic formula. The first thing you gotta know is what the quadratic formula is. And it's a formula, so it needs an equal sign. A lot of kids leave the x out of it, I don't know why. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all over 2a. I get in the habit of saying all over because you don't want to just divide this part by 2a, okay? So now what is this ABC business? Well, if you come back to here, I list my ABCs going down, not in a line going across. What is my A value? That invisible one. My B value is negative six. My C value is two. The B value is the number before to the left of the X. The a value is to the left of the x squared term, and then the c value is the number with no x, okay? So now, this is where I see kids get into a lot of, lot of problems. Watch what I'm doing. You can see what I'm doing. All I'm doing right now is putting parentheses around the variables. Now, I could have actually written the quadratic formula down again, put parentheses around the variable and then started erasing. But do you see what I've done? If you don't use parentheses, you're gonna pay a price, you're gonna miss a sign, and you miss one little sign anywhere along the way, it's game over, okay? So here are my B values. What is my B value? Negative six, okay? See right here, if you didn't put parentheses and you only relied on the calculator, you would have got negative 36 instead of positive 36, okay? My A value is one, so that goes here and here, and my C value is two, so that goes right in there. Now it's just a basic computation. X equals, keep bringing that X equals down. Two negatives make a positive, plus or minus. Okay, this is 36. Again, you can go from here to there if you have a good calculator, but I'm gonna do it the old school way. Negative four times two is negative eight times one, so we get negative eight all over one times two is two. X equals six plus or minus, what is that, 28 over two? Ooh, we could break down the square root of 28. So I'm running out of room. Uh, I think I'm gonna come down one more time. X equals six plus or minus the good, the bad, and it's over two. What's the good? Four, the bad is seven. Four is on my good list. That equals six plus or minus two radical seven over two. How did I get that? Well, I brought the six and the plus minus. The square root of four is two, square root of seven is square root of seven, and then it's over two. But now check this out. There's two, three terms here, one, two, three. Two goes into six three times, two goes into two once, and two goes into two once. I just pulled the two out of everything. So my final answer, let's be professional. X equals three plus or minus what's left over here? Square root of seven. See, there's a one there, a one there. You could put it over one, but nobody does. You could put the one there, but nobody does. At any rate, that is how you use the quadratic formula.